Hi, I'm Kevin Liu with ICANN, and on this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to install the gimbal software on your computer. Okay, the first things you're going to need is either a Windows or Mac PC or laptop. Next, you're going to need a USB to mini USB cable, and of course, your gimbal and camera. The first thing you're going to do is download the software and the drivers for your computer. We'll have the links below in the description. For the software, we're going to download the latest stable version, which is usually going to be on top of the page for the basecamelectronics.com page. At this time of this video, the latest version is 2.63b0. So we go ahead and download that. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and also download the drivers. Here, you'll want to pick the driver that's for your system. So for Windows, you would download this top one right here, this download VCP software. And then for Mac, you would scroll down to here for this version. After you finish installing this driver, you can go ahead and unzip the software you downloaded earlier from the Basecam Electronics website. Let's go ahead and open that up. For Windows, we're going to go ahead and use the simple bgcgui.exe. For Mac, we're going to go use the .jar file. Okay. Hey, after the software is open, go ahead and connect your USB to the gimbal. Turn the gimbal on. Next, to connect your gimbal to the laptop, you would go down to this drop-down box and select the correct COM, or on Mac, it's going to be the USB to art. On Windows, the COM number varies depending on what's installed on your laptop. On this particular laptop, I know it's COM5, but should I choose the wrong COM and use connect? The software actually tell you an error message and say failed, as you can see here. All right, I'll just go ahead and collect to the, connect to the right one now. And if you select the correct one, you see it says now, it will say, it will change from connect to disconnect up here. On Max, the interface is very similar. However, in the drop-down box, you won't see comms. You'll see TTY underscore S slab USB to art option, and that's the one you're going to be selecting. Congratulations for successfully installing the software for your gimbal on your computer. But the first thing you're going to want to do before you dive in on any settings is to make sure you back up your gimbal settings onto your computer. Every gimbal has its own specialized settings that you would want to save. So if you mess up with any settings, you have a backup. To back up your gimbal, go to Board, down to Backup Manager, select Browse, and enter a name for this file. You can say something such as, DS2A, and go ahead and click Save, and click the word Backup. You'll see the progression bar go from 0 to 100. And once that's done, your file is saved. And should anything happen to your gimbal or any of your settings feel weird, you can come back here and just select the file that you saved so you can restore it. Now that you've backed up your gimbal, you can go ahead and continue watching our other tutorials on how to better customize your gimbal.